the Bible falsifies it itself, right? The Bible falsifies itself, right? It makes a bunch of claims, right? That you can take and demonstrate to be false, right? You know, a lot of Christians believe that the Bible is inerrant, right? Literally, that means that the Bible is without any type of error, right? It, it, it's, it doesn't have any type of um, false claims inside of it, right? You know, the Bible actually does contain quite a lot of claims, right? That you could kind of prove to be false and not true. You know, to start off with, you know, there's a verse in the Gospel of Matthew, right? In the Gospel of Matthew, and specifically Matthew 21, 22, right? You know, in this verse, Matthew 21, 22, kind of describes, right? And, you know, if you will pray or believe, right, you, you, for anything that you want, right? You will get whatever you pray for, essentially, right? If you, if you, have, if you believe you know, in the biblical God, right? And you pray to him, you will get whatever you pray for, essentially, right? You know, and this is a, this is a, you know, this is a claim that you could easily demonstrate to be false and not true, right? You know, because, you know, the biblical God, so many different people pray to the biblical God, right? Pray to Jesus, right? You know, because, you know, according to the Trinity, right? Jesus is the biblical God, right? Jesus is the is the same Old Testament God, just again in a human form, right? But regardless, right, you know, you have a lot of Christians, right, around the world who pray to the biblical God, who pray to Jesus, you know, who pray to Yahweh, Adonai, Jehovah, right? You know, millions of people around the world pray to the Christian God and etc. And, you know, they kind of pray for a lot of different things, but, you know, I haven't really seen any video of like a Christian praying for something like very extraordinary to happen right and it actually happening right you know because you know again in matthew 21 22 you know it states that you know if you believe you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer right if you believe you'll receive whatever you ask for in prayer that's what it says in matthew 21, 22 and stuff, you know, whatever you ask for in prayer, you'll get it, right? You can pray for anything and you'll get it. You know, Christians have never, like, ever prayed for anything that would come true, right? They, you know, Christians, they, I, there has been no Christian in, in all of human history, right? That's prayed for something extraordinary to happen. Not, not like something that you could easily, like, that's self-fulfilling, right? Let's just say, you know, like, that that, 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 that could be kind of misinterpreted, right? Let's just say, you know, there's, it's about the sunset, you know, the sun's kind of rising and etc. You know, and you, you have a Christian, he's, he's like, I pray for, you know, I don't know, the, the, the sun to come out and, you know, for it to kind of become daytime. You know, that that's a self-fulfilling kind of prayer, right? You know, it, it would have that type of um, prayer wouldn't really prove anything, right? Because you know the, the sun sets on its own; it follows this type of course, right? It follows its own, um, you know, its own directions and stuff. It, you know, praying for the sun to rise and you know for daytime to happen that's not going. To, that's not very extraordinary, right? You know, but you know, a type of prayer that's very extraordinary, right? You know, any type of Christian, right? In all of human history, has never kind of made any type of extraordinary prayer and that prayer has been answered, right? You know, like someone, let's just say, you know, there was someone in a fatal accident, right? You know, it's never been demonstrated in all of human history, right? That prayer, that any type of Christian could kind of just say a prayer to the biblical God and, you know, whoever is fatally wounded, right? That person would just automatically recover. Like his limbs would just kind of start to regenerate, etc. Without any type of medical treatment, it would just be completely miraculous. That's never happened in all of human history, right? But, you know, in the Bible, and again, Matthew 21, 22, if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Right? But of course, you know, in all of human history, right? You know, it's never been demonstrated, right? That prayer, you know, if you pray pray for anything extraordinary to happen, not like, not like things that would happen anyway, right? Even if you prayed and even if you didn't pray, right? You know, like, again, the sun coming up and, you know, that daytime happening, right? That, that's going to happen anyway, even if you didn't pray for it to happen and stuff. I'm talking about prayers that are extraordinary, right? The stuff that would not happen otherwise, right? You know, something that would be completely miraculous. Let's just say again, you know, some person 
wasn't like some type of traumatic accident, right? He was fatally wounded and stuff, you know. It's never been demonstrated in all of human history, in all of medical history, right? That, you know, like, you know, a Christian could just pray to the biblical God and, and, he, and now, you know, let's just say this, there's this person and he's fatally wounded, right? That person's injuries would just miraculously heal, right? That's never been demonstrated in all of human history, right? In all of medical history. That's never been documented, right? It's never been, you know, kind of proven that, you know, Praying to the biblical God would cure any type of problems you have, right? So, you know, this is this, uh, this um, verse, Matthew 21, 22, right? You could use it to kind of quickly falsify the Bible, right? This would prove that the Bible is not inerrant, right? It's not, you know, it doesn't, it's, it doesn't hold the truth completely, right? Because, you know, this, the Bible claims that, you know, in Matthew 21, 22, right? If you believe you'll receive whatever you ask for in prayer, right? whatever you ask for in prayer, whatever you ask for in prayer, right? Literally, you can get a Christian now, right? Bring him towards you and stuff. And you can tell him to pray for some, uh, you know, this will be kind of, this is, this, this is literally how you would like literally debunk the entire Bible, right? Because you know, Christians believe that the Bible is inerrant without any type of error, right? But you know, Matthew 21, 22, that's a verse in the Bible, in the Gospel of Matthew. This verse, you can easily use it to falsify the Bible, right? Because, you know, if you get a Christian, if you pray, if you tell him to pray for, I don't know, let's just say you could pray for like, I don't know, a Chinese dragon to emerge just out of thin air. It would never happen, right? It's never been demonstrated to happen in all of human history, right? You know, ever since Christianity as a religion was established, right? You know, you know get a Christian, tell him to pray for something extremely miraculous to happen. It will never happen, right? Tell him to pray to the biblical God to kind of bring anything miraculous into existence immediately in, a, in real time, right? It won't happen. You'll, you'll be seeing nothing, right? This is kind of like an empty promise that the, you know, that the Bible makes, you know, and again, again in Matthew 21, 22, that, you know, if you believe, right, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. That's ridiculous. It's never been demonstrated, you know, that Christians can pray for anything that they want and it will just be given to them. It was, materialize out of thin air, right? It will be given to them, right? And, you know, this Matthew 21, 22, this verse says, if you believe you'll receive whatever you ask for in prayer, whatever, right? You know, would, uh, you, a lot of Christians might be kind of, kind of be in denial, I guess, but, you know, you know, get, you know if you want to kind of prove me wrong, you know, record yourselves, right? And pray for something extremely miraculous to happen. Pray to the Christian God to, for, for some type of, you know, miracle, right? Let's, in my opinion, I would I would suggest that you would you should pray for a Chinese dragon to emerge out of thin air. Right? That would be so miraculous that would that you would like no one would be able to kind of you know, argue with you right then. Of course, this is never going to happen, right? It's, you know, because we all know that you know Christians, no matter how hard they pray to the Christian biblical God, right? We all know that nothing happens. Right? The prayer that prayer doesn't really affect anything. It doesn't really work. Right, because it has never been demonstrated to work, right? You know, again, in you know, in all of human history, specifically also in all of medical history, right? Because you know, you know, except for maybe the placebo effect, but that's kind of a minor effect. That's a, you know, I'm talking about you know, if someone was in like a very, you know, a like a deadly accident, right? He, he was kind of lethally wounded, right? You know, it's never been demonstrated that you know, prayer, specifically Christian prayer, you know, could like kind of be useful you know you know this uh, verse matthew 21 22 it kind of it falsifies christianity you know, falsifies the bible specifically right but also you know it, it takes a lot of credibility away for you know specifically the christian religion right the christian religion and as well as for the bible as well right? it proves that the bible is not without error and not without empty promises not without some type of false claim you know, and it's not just Matthew 21, 22, you know, also Mark 11, 24, you know, this is a verse in the Gospel of Mark, you know, and it says, therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours, right? You know, Christians in all of human history have never got what they prayed for. You know, that's true. And if you kind of, if you, if you don't agree with what I'm saying, right? Or if you're, let's just say you're a Christian, again, pray for anything miraculous to happen. You can literally go outside right? or inside, do any place would work, right? Just pray for something miraculous to happen, right? The Bible says that if you pray for anything miraculous, it will be 
it will be happening. It will, anything miraculous that you want, it will be given to you, right? Do it then, right? Pray to the Christian God to, for something miraculous to happen. Anything you have in mind, right? Let's just say you want like some type of, um, I don't know, uh, Chinese dragon. That's kind of what I can think of right now, right? You want to ride on a Chinese dragon. Let's just say that, right? Okay, pray to the Christian God for that to happen, right? Because, you know, in Matthew 21, 22, it says, if you believe, you'll receive whatever you ask for in prayer, right? And also in Matthew 11, no, not Matthew, Mark 11, 24, therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours, right? These two verses in the gospel specifically, right? But, you know, in the Bible as well, they say that you can, you, know, you can get whatever you want as long as you pray for it, right? If you pray to the Christian God, you'll get whatever you want. Okay, if you're a Christian now, right? A sincere Christian, right? You know, the Bible says that if you pray for something, right, you will get it regardless of anything, right? Okay, so um, 